there are things that will happen in the few days ahead that God released and revealed to me but before I tell you these things that we must pray about because we need to pray about them seriously seriously we need to pray about them I can tell you there are two things that happened in the past two let's say 14 days or 7 days that we talked about on this altar we couldn't get the video ready because of uh, the things that are happening in the new site we are about to relocate to even media everybody is there working so they couldn't cut the video to keep but I know that you remember the day we talked about flood on this altar and we said Lagos clean although this kind of flood that came is not is more than cleaning even though you cleaned that flood is too mighty and I said that is not the, the main flood coming I still repeat again the flood coming in 2025 people will shout this is critical but you are here in church when we said flood is coming in Lagos yes, we sir. said it a Sunday we said it another Sunday we said it three times I can remember they on the YouTube there you can check them we said flood is coming and if you check very well this is not even almost the time it used to come then I told them that there is something coming 2025 I want to repeat again the flood coming in 2025 we are all here together you will see it the government of Nigeria better do what they need to do I am telling you the truth because come 2025 I see people trooping into government houses shoot us or you take it or you take it. whether you like it or not I will tell you the truth governors Aso rocks we are here because they will want to use that place as the place of a uh, escape I am passing the message now to government what is coming 2025 the flood you will see places that never used to have flood and this 2025 message i've been sharing it since 2023 2025 I talked about it. i said get ready for 2025 and flood is coming this year but it's greeting to what is coming by 2025 we are getting to 2025 you will see what i'm telling you the one coming this it will come up but it's greeting because i saw people i saying what what is this may god deliver this nation Amen. Amen. May God deliver this nation. Amen. Amen. Three weeks ago, let me say a month ago, I said I saw the governor of River State seated like this in his office and saying, God, if you can do this one again. How many of us were in church? Like I told you, we are so busy, we can't get to the archives to get the video. I said, I saw the governor like this and telling God, if you can do it again. Did you hear the judgment yesterday? Happy day before yesterday? And I can tell you, in that camp, they are praying that God should do it again. But there is one thing God told me that He has he is not done with river states. God will intervene. Amen. God will intervene. Amen. Amen. I said, God will intervene. Amen. God will intervene. Amen. Amen. These are the things that we've been talking about, and it's coming to pass. I used to tell people, and I keep on saying it prophecies are not meant to scare you, prophecies are meant to direct you on how to pray. A young lady we had at uh, this month. July I had or June I had one on one encounter prayers with people from online about 10 persons we did something like that on February and I told a young lady get ready for June July there's a problem coming your way maybe those kind of message they see it like pastor just talk because words and time out few days ago last two days message me that there is a serious police case from the workplace out of accusation and from her voice say pastor you want me February whenever prophecies come to you it is not to scare you am i speaking to somebody now yes, yes sir. sir it's not meant to scare you it's meant to direct you on how to pray on how to do what break ondo government must be prayerful ondo capital of ondo is akure right because i see a political torso about to rise in ondo that will displace both the government and both citizens and as I'm speaking, Lagos River State, Bayesa, I see army trooping in. Now I have to call names of the states so that they must be prayerful. River State, may God give our governor wisdom. Amen. Oh, the army is not coming to shoot. They are coming to maintain peace. Wherever you see army released, they went to maintain peace. Am I so you don't get scared? Yes. But may God not allow it to degenerate to that level. Yes. Where army will enter the states, river states, because they are supposed to be in borders and keep his, uh, peace with other countries. But by the time they get into a state, it has got into a state of El Dorado, according to our prophetic uh, luminary and uh, Patrick, Mr. 
Mr. Patrick. Say economic Eldorado. I don't know what the meaning of that. River State, Bayesa, Lagos State. Be prayerful. And I want to tell the youths of Nigeria. I see many youths losing their life before this year is over. And there are three ways I see them losing their lives. So you will not get entangled with any of these ways. Number one, there is going to be political uprising in different quarters of the nation. Because the cost of food, price of food, cost of living, and some political unrest that may arise, youths may see these angles as the most vibrant angles they can get involved, get things happen. You know, happening, you know, people when they see things happening, they say, Wait, will they see that for us? No, they do anything. Oh boy, job, they will wait be the job. Now, hey, hey, they shout in black card. Youth of Nigeria. <laughs> tomorrow, leaders of tomorrow, leaders of tomorrow. God I should tell you, be patient. When you see these things, don't be the ones to carry gun. Don't be the ones to carry woods. Don't be the ones to cross the road. As I'm talking to you, the youth that will be lost, the remaining half of this year has not been recorded. So this is a prophetic warning. Be careful where you see crowd. Political this, political pruhahas. Don't get involved. Am I speaking to somebody now? A uh, pastor is our nation. If we don't go out, who will build it for us? You have a better place to build it from, from your news. Go and pray. And when election comes, make sure you campaign for the right person and vote the right person. Don't go and be blocking roads. I'm seeing you, many of them. I can tell you many of them losing their lives. Many of them losing their lives. There is a strange illness I talked about. Second to the last. It came as, uh, what did they call it again? There is, the Cholera. there is an advanced one coming. This one came, it couldn't do anything. But the devil is not happy. A very advanced form of sickness coming. But it will not kill you. Amen. It will not kill me. Amen. It will not kill our children. Amen. So be careful the water your children drink. Be careful how you walk on that rain. This is a church that is well fully loaded with wisdom nuggets, spiritual teachings, and prophetic guidelines. So you shouldn't be falling into problems anyhow. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Your son is here. Where's your son? Where's your son? More grace. You will not lose that son. Amen. Bring that son on the altar. You won't lose that son. Amen. I want to use his son as a point of contact to Raphael. Where is he? He's not around. But this prayer is also to him. I'm not done with my prophecies, but God says I should pray for him. So. on this altar and get their destinies altered mm. i decree that i carried you on this altar god who revealed this scatter every form of sickness that the devil wants to wire to you amen you will not die untimely amen, amen. you will not die untimely amen. amen you will not die untimely amen no sickness will take you amen, amen. amen. that's your environment you need to use oil in your environment are you me now Get anointing oil. We use it to bless your environment. Hold it so that we anoint it. Your compound. Is there a pussy cat around your compound? I used to see one when I passed there in the evening. There is something evil in your compound. And it's not far from somebody you told me about. I was shouting about something. It's just the wisdom message are you hearing me now just get oil and run the center of your house the effect will go around no evil will attack you amen your source of income will not cut short again amen, amen. god will lift you amen. amen to another level amen, amen. amen. You see this is your husband he's a great man mm. god will lift you to another level amen, amen. take this God will lift you to another level. Amen. I pray from the depth of my heart. Jesus. God will lift you to another level. Amen. God sees your heart. Amen. And he will lift you. Amen. Greater. Amen. Higher. Amen. God will lift you. Amen. As I spoke, so shall it be. 
Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Finally, bless you. nurses and doctors from Nigeria. They may plan to go on strike. They may plan to do anything the medical lines. But God says I should warn them they should not try that. God instituted them to save life. We know that the government is not trying. We know that things are not well. This sector wants to go on strike. This other sector wants to go on strike. God released a prophetic message to them. They should not try it. Because this season, you will see cases upon cases. Cases upon cases. And if doctors are not on seats, will it be very pleasant to hear? Not pleasant to hear. Doctors, don't try it. And government of Nigeria, we are about to lose a lot in the medical lines. As I'm talking to you, many of them are planning to leave. Doctors, many are planning to leave this country. And if it will get to a point, if America can't take them again, UK can't take them again, even Ghana, Canada, uh, Cameroon, the list of countries, they will prefer they go to those countries. It is getting to a point where you can't even see a doctor in this country. A nurse. And it's the quacks that will be remaining. The country is getting to that level. So the doctor, the, the government must sit up. The government must do what? Sit up. Let them sit up and do the needful. And God will bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. How many of you have been fasting? Did you fast in the last fasting? Yes, sir. Did you fast? Yes, sir. This Monday, this Tuesday, and this Wednesday is a fast for appreciation. God says we must appreciate him, not every time. Ask, ask, ask. It is a fasting for appreciation for multiplication. On Monday, we are fasting to tell him. Thank you. On Tuesday, we are fasting to tell him. Thank you. On Wednesday, we are fasting to tell him. Thank, thank you. you. Then on Wednesday, we will close the fast with appreciation too. And the scripture we are using is Psalm 109 verse 30. Just one scripture. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitudes. God told me as we praise him and thank him these three days that he will do the incredible in our lives. Amen. I don't know if I should call this particular name. I love him so much, Frank Edwards. I pray it will be good news all around him. Amen. I love him so much. I love Frank Edwards so much. From the mornings today, I was telling my wife the revelation I saw. But I, I stopped it there. I stopped it there. I don't want to say anything attached to anyone's name. But we pray that God will continually shine the light through him. Amen. Amen and spread the light through him in Jesus name Amen. with wisdom I stop there because I'm not good at calling names on the altar but this particular one I called let me just stop it that halfway no disaster will happen in his studio Amen. no evil will happen around him Amen. in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. so on Monday I appreciate God on Tuesday I appreciate, I appreciate God. God on Wednesday I appreciate God. With fasting and come here on Wednesday, closing the fasting. Don't close your fasting without the sacrifice. And you will see what God will do in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. On that Wednesday, I will give you an instruction what you will do. And as you appreciate Him, in the midst of multitude, you will not lack. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Before Hello, God bless you really good. Even as you are closing your fasting today and you are doing other prophetic exercises, this is Pastor Mark Miracle and I want to use this opportunity to appreciate those of you who have committed yourself to the church building that is ongoing. Few days back, we did upload a video here where God blessed us with some uh, a space where we are renovating, we've been trying and this is the level we have gotten to. We are trying to put the ceiling we are trying to put the ele ele uh, electrical connections and then start putting in the gadgets what is god laying in your heart is it telling you to build the altar 
this week we are mounting the altar and we are building the altar is it telling you to decorate the altar is it telling you to buy the gadgets is it telling you to invest in buying the sound system this is the house of god and god indeed will bless as many who is committing themselves and i want to appreciate those of you who have sent in seeds already in this prophetic work we are doing let me let you know you can't build the house of god and god not build your family and god not build your house use the account details displayed and do the needful as god has spoken to you and i want to speak from the depth of my heart that god will bless you as you commit your token to this building where prophecies bring out from may god meet you prophetically at the point of your need for all of your prophetic for all of your problematic situation may there be a prophetic solution instantly to as many who commit themselves to sow a seed a sacrifice to this altar i will pray directly for you drop a message through the numbers scrolling and i will give you a prophetic prayer speak a quick word over your life via whatsapp and this year we turn around for you god bless you for partaking in building the temple of god god bless you in jesus name